guys, Graham here again from Bainbridge Technologies. Today I'd like to uh, just quickly talk to you about one of the features of our DC to DC uh, units, the Slimline 110 with the, uh, the Blue Anderson plug with the DC to DC built in. Uh, I get asked a lot of questions about how to connect solar and what people should be doing um, connecting solar, thinking that they can just connect it directly up to the Blue Anderson plug. Um, this is definitely not the case. You do not connect solar to the Blue Anderson plug. Um, the Blue Anderson purely is there as an input to the DC to DC. It's not even actually connected directly to the battery, the Blue Anderson plug. It's got to go through the charger and then the charger to the uh, Anderson plug. So hence you can't use the solar going directly into that because um, the BMS in the battery will shut it down if it gets above 15 volts on the input side for the battery. And of course, solar is gonna be up around 18 to 20 odd volts generally for a, a 12 volt system. So the only way that you can connect solar to any of our lithium batteries is via a regulator or an MPPT or a PWN style of uh, unit. And then that goes to the, one of the Gray Anderson plugs. So any of our batteries that have a Gray Anderson plug, that grain and some plug is directly connected to the battery. So you need a regulated source to be inputted into that. So if you do have, for instance, one of our um, Slimline 110s with the DC in it, you'll notice that you'll have a blue and some plug, as I just said before, is for your direct input for the charger, and you'll have one single gray plug. So you'll say, how do I connect my loads like fridges and everything to that? And also then connect my solar to the same input. Well, what you simply do is use one of these little style of leads, doesn't have to be this exact one, but this is one of the ones that we sell, which gives you a single Anderson to two Anderson. So you would plug that into your grey Anderson plug on the 110 Slim with DC, you connect that in, and then you can connect your solar regulator uh, to one of these plugs, and then you can connect this to your loads, whether you go to a distribution panel and put all your loads in there, or whether you just have a fridge connected directly to that, uh, and away you go. So you can pull power out and put power in at the same time. It's exactly the same as going to your positive and negative terminal on your battery. Uh, in your car doing the same thing. So that's quite simply how it's done easily. Um, as I said, just about all portable panels these days either have a regulator built in or they come with an external regulator. So you literally plug your solar panel into your regulator and then your regulator into your battery. Uh, actually, that is wrong. I, I should refrain from that saying that. You actually connect your regulator to the battery first, then plug your solar into your regulator. Because that way then a lot of the regulators on the market these days are 12, 24 volt. So they have to see what battery bank they're connected to first before they start outputting. You can't do that once you've already got solar going into it because you, you know, effectively you could be putting um, 20 volts of power into a uh, into a 20. You know, if it's set up as 24 volt into a 12 volt battery, which you don't want to happen. So the first thing you do is plug this into your battery, plug the regulator into this, and then plug your solar into your regulator, and it will all work itself out. So hopefully that gives you a little bit more information and a bit of insight how to connect a solar panel um, to one of our batteries, especially the one with the DC to DC built in and uh, get you uh, on the road quicker and uh, in the right way. So until next time, bye for now.